So I got to ask you, you know, you talk about the mental side of it, Ben Simmons. Ben, you know, we watch the videos in the summertime, jumpers looking buttery, he's hitting threes, he's playing at a high level. Comes to the season, it doesn't really translate well. He's only 30 or 25 years old. Right. So when you look at Ben now, you know, what's it going to take for him to now transfer all that work he's doing in the summer and actually put it in game play? Because we see the jumper, and you know as a hooper, like, the jumper looks good. But for some reason, when it gets to the season time, he can't lock in, he's afraid to shoot it. So how are you working with him on that just to get, get over that mental hurdle? Well, I think, like with Ben, number one, people don't know his work ethic, right? And so he bought in to the teaching and to the process, right? So he's actually putting in the work, he's putting in the time, and it takes a long time to develop anything, any type of skill set. You have to have thousands and thousands of reps, and then you go from the rep piece, you have to start looking at the foundation piece, the footwork, the balance. Mm -hmm. You know, Ben is probably one of, maybe one of like two or three players that is, is that big and that fast mm -hmm. that I've ever worked with, right? And his ability to go from like zero to a hundred is like unreal. Mm -hmm. So now picture that and trying to stop full speed to pull up and shoot a jumper. Now you run that back when he's coming down and watching film, he could just, he don't need a crossover. Why need a crossover for? I could just run right over you. Like that's his mindset. His mm -hmm. mindset is like that. So I've really been studying Ben. I'm talking about mental, physical, how to get him to understand his body because he has to go perform. I don't have to go perform. So if there's no umbilical cord there. It's just getting him enough reps that's needed and getting him the right reps. So not just being all over the place. So like going full speed in his workouts and stopping on a dime. Mm -hmm like a full push, boom, and going full boom, and then stopping. Well, if, if I'm not a Lamborghini, and I think Gil said it a few times, it's really hard to, really hard to be able to connect with a Lamborghini. It has to do. I'm a Tesla, right? That dude's a Lamborghini on steroids. So my brain has to be open, I have no ceilings. Mm -hmm. So, his translation, we've been working at this a couple of years, his translation to in-game reps is right there. You know, before the pandemic, and he had his moments. Start hitting threes in the game. He started doing different things. And, you know, I didn't play for the coaches, but I don't know the expectation of coaches. And, you know, throughout the show, we talked about ceilings. Being with this new team, new situation, been around two gray area players that are unbelievable because Kai is going crazy right now, by the way. Coach Kerr, I mean, uh, 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 Steve, mm -hmm. play without a ceiling. You know, we play. I, I think you're going to see Ben Simmons in a whole different light because I'm with him and I know what to see. And I've never, you know what I love about the kid that translates to scoring and shooting and this bags up. I've never seen him bag away from a fight. Hey, we got a hoop today. He texting me. We hooping today? Bro, we hoop yesterday. Bro, I want to hoop. I want to hoop. Like, I want to, like, you know, I want to get at this dude. And I'm not going to lose this summer. I'm going to compete on it. He's a great defender, right? Because his competition is high. <laughs> like, he's not going to let you score. And, and, and it's like in his brain, you know, if I tell him something, like Joe Johnson came to the gym, and this is why I love, like, Gil come to the gym, and D come to all these – Top of the notch basketball players have done it at the high level in front of everybody. Come to the gym. And this is what makes my gym exceptional. Because you got a guy like Joe Johnson said, Ben, you're not going to block, block a shot. And he said, I'm going to get it. Joe was just shooting over because Joe is a, is a scorer. Mm -hmm. Ben eventually blocked the shot. Boom, look right at me. <laughs> right away. Bro, I thought you said I won't get a shot. I was like, bro, that was tough. <laughs> so his competitive nature, along with his work ethic, and him being in the league and only being 25, you're going to see him go to the next level. Change of scenery, change of coaches, change of environment, you know, being in a new situation, new system. I looked at, like, D'Antoni. You look at Steve Nash. Steve Nash was two-time MVP under mm -hmm. D'Antoni. D'Antoni made J.H., James Harden, 
MVP of the league. Yeah. It's something about his offensive coaching in a team structure mm-hmm. that allows players to just – Remember Duhan, when he had Duhan, Duhan was leading the league in assists. Think about it. So it's going to be interesting, but to answer your question, I think I'm I'm excited to see him get on the court. Like, everybody's excited to see him get on the court. Probably not more than me because I see the work that he's putting in. And if he didn't work, I would tell you he's not a worker because I don't bullshit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. He's a worker. I wouldn't even work with him if he didn't work. So the translation of a jump shot is more so of getting the right reps, learning his body, being able to stop, and being able to put that same rep a million times over and over again. Can he shoot the three? Of course. He's strong. He can shoot the three right-handed and left-handed. He's super talented. So I'm looking forward to it just like you. And and, um, can he play? He can play. And if he come back... Right now, because we don't know when he's coming back off of it, Brooklyn is going to be. It, 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 always bothered, it, it always bothered me with Ben um, because no, everyone's looking at one side. Oh, he's soft. He's this. Like, he is first team all defense. For sure. Just to be all defense itself, you have to have a dog mind mentality. Period. Period. Talk, like, to be on the defense, you're talking about Bruce Bowen mentally, Tony Allen. Dennis you're Rodman. Talking, Dennis Rodman. You're talking about Rudy Gary Goldberg, Payton. but you're talking about Clay Thompson. You're talking about Scottie Pippins and Gary Payton. You're talking about dog, dog mentality. mentality. People who are bringing a the fight. They're taking a the challenge. So the fact that you're questioning his mental is so ridiculous because – Either you are you not playing or watching sports. Right. He is two time first team all. It means he has a I want to get at you mind. I'm mm-hmm. taking the challenge to, okay, maybe on the offensive mind, he might not feel comfortable taking shots that he don't want to take. Right. Like, but you got to think about, think about everybody who was actually super faster than they were supposed to be. They mm. had a hard time shooting. Right. Because, again, if you're not used to full speed you gotta stop. you got to go full speed Think about stop, Westbrook. Bro. What is Westbrook's problem? It's, when he's moving so fast and he's getting ready to go, then he has to stop. Hit the top of the backboard. Because it's <laughs> that speed. It's John, fa- it's fa- I'm telling that John you, it's Wall, fast, bro. He's moving so fast and now he has to stop and pull up. It's fast. Like if, Ben set in the corner and just shot nothing but spot up shots. Right. It makes it easier because he ain't got to move. His momentum's not going anywhere. But he's a moving player. But he's a moving player. He's a moving target. I watched him, bro. I watched. I haven't seen him but, not peak perform. I'm like, like, like. Would you think about LeBron right now? Look at LeBron. Right. This is what's gonna take Ben to understand. LeBron is what super fast once that motor gets to going. Well. Look at all his threes. He's never moving, really. His mm-hmm. motor stopped. Like, all right, all right, step. He's not coming off the fast break and you pass it to him. He's, he's coming, <laughs> he's not doing, he's not coming off screens and moving so fast. He, that man had thrown it, he had thrown out of bounds it's, trying it's that. It's tough, shit. bro. But he's, he's gotten smart enough to understand right. How what makes his shot, shot better? Yeah. You know, Ben is still young. Ben is still using his athleticism. So once he gets to moving, he wants to just keep going. Bro, he can, he can, he's so fat. His torque. His, his, I've seen, I'm telling you. That's I'm, what I was, you remember I came, yeah. I came in this, in, uh, this summer and I was like, I'm, you know, I'm, you know me, I'm looking. I'm like, all right, oh, where, where's the, where's the, he has great form. What the hell? Yeah, he got great mechanics. Like, those are the, the mechanics are great. It's it's everything. Like, you know, so it's like, eh. So I had to go deeper. I had to think beyond that. Mm. And and I'm I'm like, okay, I'm watching the film, I'm studying, you know, I'm trying to be a guru of this and help him unlock whatever he needs to be unlocked to get to him becoming the best player that he could become, win championships and be at the top. So you cannot have a ceiling to do that. Mm-hmm. And that one thing stood out to me just this whole like past two years, I was like, Dude, you're like one of the fastest people I've ever seen with the ball. 
You don't need no breakdown. He uh, just most people can't just be dribbling and say, I'm just gonna go. Jason Kidd. I'm just gonna go around you. Yeah. And you're gonna stay right here and I'm just gonna keep going. That, that, that's who that's who it reminds me of. Now that you think about it. The early years of Jason Kidd. I'm just gonna go by but you. But taller. He's so fast. Uh. He's so moving. Once he gets it, he's gone. He's always on a move, which if you look at Jason Kidd's shot early in his year. It's the deceleration. Yeah, it's, so it's, that's to, the problem, just slowing, down, just slowing to, down to actually focus on the shot. That was, that's my brain, and, and he's done a great job, and, and he's put in the work of learning how to decelerate his motor at full speed, which allows him to shoot, which I think is the ultimate shot. You had it. It's that eight. 10 footer, I can get to the shot anytime, any day. That's the championship shot. That's the one that puts you, when everything starts to shrink down, you can get to that bread and butter anytime you want at any play. And that's what you guys are seeing, like when we're posting in the summer, the summer runs. He's it's free. It's free. He's free.